Hey guys, what's up? It's just Eel Fish Productions here. I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial on how to actually decrease the file size of videos that you're gonna upload to YouTube or any other websites, or if you wanna just email to your friends or just make it easier to download. And also not losing any quality to the video. So still keeping it at 1080p or 720p or you know with all the best audio and whatnot. So all you need really is one program to do or so one program to do this uh it's called handbrake which is here uh it's at handbrake.fr i'm pretty sure i'll put a link into the description to the downloads page what we're gonna do is download it and just run it like i'm doing here and once it opens you have all these tabs here you have the file thing you have the output settings you have your source and whatnot so all i'm gonna all you need to do is click on the top left go to source and open file and you're just gonna now import the video you want to upload so i'm going to use javor it's the it's a raw file so raw files are always the most have the most memory so as you can see this raw file is 9.06 gigabytes because i use fraps which makes them a large file size so yeah that's pretty bad <laughs> and that will take literally two days or a whole weekend or even a week depending on your internet to actually upload that to youtube now all you gotta do is choose where you want to you know import it to so i'm just going to go ahead and choose my desktop and now you're just going to choose file name so the file name i'll just name it as tut handbrake you can rename that whatever you want and just click save and it should say your desktop whatnot things and now we're just going to play around with the settings make sure that you have your ratio whatnot all good you don't need to change anything here or you we're gonna have to, all we really need to do is go to our advanced tab um yeah go to our advanced tab you may see something like this and you won't actually have any options the easiest way to fix that is you just go up to your tools options advanced and show advanced tab and go and you still have a so now what you need to do is now go back to your video section and under the video tab you'll see use advanced tab instead so now just click that and the advanced tab will now be available okay there's not much settings to change in here all you really need to change is your reference frames you can have a look around all the other settings that you have but you just need to change your reference frame to four um, it will be normally two or it will normally be one. You just want to make sure it's four. Don't do any high Okay, and just keep the rest all good now what you want to do is go to your audio tab and oh, Yeah, go to your audio tab and click on the audio You normally will have one track, but you have multiple tracks You want to go through and do this to all the tracks, but since this is just a one audio track you want to change your bitrate from 160 or from whatever you have it on mainly it will be 160 and change that to 128 so yeah 128 like that you open up in full screen yeah so 128 like that and now you should all be done just have a quick flick through make sure all this is done and you're just going to tick web optimize up here underneath the in the output settings area keep all the right side all normal just on regular normal things or whatnot or um, and now you got to do up in the top of the thing just click start and it will begin to encode now depending on your hard drive um, no depending on your CPU or GPU if you have a graphics card depends on how long it will take and also at the file size since this is 10 gigabyte or 9 gigabyte video it will take a while but I've already done this so we'll just once it's done it will say finished Q finished or whatever and you can just close down the video and go to the file wherever it is so we've got our MC or our tutorial thing and we're just going to open up properties and as you can see that's 92 megabytes f compared to this one which is 9 gig 9 gigabytes so we've actually brought the file size down dramatically to nearly about 90 percent so 92 megabytes compared to 9 and it as you can see I'll just give you a quick 
What's up, YouTube? It's the Evil Fish Production. The quality on that kind of screwed up, but it keeps the same file size. But that's because I didn't change my settings for that video. But if you follow what I've just told you, you'll have high definition videos such as this one. What's up, guys? Whoa, that came out loud. Yeah, high definition videos such as this one. I did the same process, all the same settings, and I got a video like this, which is very good quality, and it allows 1080p. So I hope this guy's work. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll help you with that. And chuck us a like. Cheers.